waking up that morning and I felt it. Something is not right. I looked at the other side of the bed. I did not see my mother. I called for her. No response. I ran to the kitchen. No sign of her either. I ran from room to room, waking up everyone in the process. And then I stood there and I released a deep cry. It's like the sound is coming from my soul. What if I told you I know what happened when you truly love yourself? You could never hurt another. You will enjoy your company. You will like yourself, respect yourself, thinking of yourself positively. What if you simply devoted this year to loving yourself enough? Enough to take the action required for your happiness. Enough to cut yourself loose from the drama filled past. Enough to set a higher standard for relationship. Enough to feed your mind and your body in a healthy manner. Enough to forgive yourself. Enough to move on. Have unshakable faith in yourself to become everything you want to be. Be gentle with yourself. Learn to love yourself, to forgive yourself. For only as we have the right attitude toward ourselves, can we have the right attitude toward other people. If you love yourself for all that you are, all that you have been, and all that you are yet to be, then you create a strong foundation for a lasting bond with someone and open yourself to the possibility of being fully present for them. When you truly love yourself, you see the reflection of that love within someone else. This is because we are all created in the image of God. Spiritually, we are all one. So, the first rule of love is recognizing you need to love yourself first. I have thrived with that mother love to be a kind and compassionate person because I understood that love is within me, not without. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. The real happiness comes from a state of being. When you look deep within yourself, what do you see? Do you see peace or internal conflict? Finding inner peace or achieving peace of mind is a major life accomplishment. Loving oneself and peace of mind allow us to overcome the problems we face in our daily life. They teach us to survive, to live in the prison, to have the courage to confront each day. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Peace is a result of retraining your mind to process life as it is, rather than as you think it should be. You find peace not by rearranging the circumstances of your life, but by realizing who you are at the deepest level. Never be in a hurry. Do everything quietly and in a calm spirit. Do not lose your inner peace for anything whatsoever, even if your whole world seems upset. So the rule number two of love is building inner peace. Share the love with everyone like the way God loves us 
all, no exception to who, where, or what. It is not just one person or a family that deserves our love. The whole world does it. Part of the problem we have in the world today is the concept of us and no more. People think that only their family is worth their time and effort. But imagine what will happen if we view the entire world as our family. Suddenly, we start expanding that circle of love and we feel an obligation to help others. If everyone had that idea, the world would be a very different place. The black, black, the white, white, the brown, brown, the red, red, the yellow, yellow, the straight, red, the gay, gay, the trans, trans, the poor, the, poor, the rich, rich, the illiterate, the, the illiterate, the, illiterate, the weak, the weak, the strong, strong, all are my sisters and brothers. My life is their life. Until my last breath, I shall be serving you all with all the power in my vein. And beyond death, my ideas shall be serving you for eternity. When everything seems against you and all you know seems lost, know that God is right there standing at your side, ready to catch you and put you back on your own two feet. So rule number three, share the love, love everyone. Hatred does not cease through hatred at any time. Hatred ceases through love. There is a natural law. If you ever find yourself in a situation where someone is saying something hurtful or damaging, remember there is always an option in how we react. Choosing to come from a place of love rather than anger can not only save a relationship, but also help that person understand there is a better way to go about things. Not only that, but the reacting with anger only gives more fuel to the fire. So rule number four, choose carefully your word because it can make or break relationship. Happiness will never come to those who fail to appreciate that which they already have. One of the most common things I see in a relationship is one or both of the partner are looking around to see if the grass is greener on the other side. There's a constant subconscious desire to see if they can get something better. My wish is that you find this rule of law very useful so you can apply them, so you can create an everlasting love for yourself and for the people around you to have a stronger relationship with your partner, with whoever you are, and also with the world around you. I hope you find this video very useful. If so, please hit the like, subscribe button. If you have any comment that you need to add, please add in the comment box below. And if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. I am really looking forward for the year ahead. And together, we can create a successful path for a better life. Thank you and God bless you.